Hello everyone. This week I'm going to be talking about bald eagles. Just watch this wonderful bonding flight of a pair of bald eagles filmed in November when they return to the lower mainland and reunite with mates or form new partnerships. Bald eagles also congregate in certain locations during winter. From November until February, one to two thousand birds winter in Squamish, British Columbia, about halfway between Vancouver and Whistler, and the birds primarily gather along the Squamish and Chickmas rivers. They also, con also congregate on the confluence of the Harrison and Fraser, thousands of beautiful raptors. They're attracted by the salmon spawning in the area. When they return to the lower mainland, they want to claim good nest sites and often return to exactly the same tree and the same nest. Bald eagles are sexually mature at four to five years old. When they are old enough to breed, they often return to the area where, where they were born. It is thought that bald eagles mate for life. However, if one member of the pair dies or disappears, the survivor will choose a new mate. A pair which has repeatedly failed in breeding attempts may split and look for a new mate. Bald eagle courtship involves elaborate, spectacular calls and flight displays by the males. The flight includes swoops, chases, cartwheels in which they fly high, lock talons and free fall, separating just before hitting the ground. It's just incredible to watch. Watch this male arrange the sticks while his mate eats a seagull. I filmed this in January this year. The bald eagle is an opportunistic feeder, which subsists mainly on fish, which it scoops flies down and swoops down and snatches out of the river or the sea with its talons. But they also take small mammals like rabbits and squirrels as well as ducks. Especially on Boundary Bay they're renowned for catching ducks. The bald eagle also builds the largest nest of any North American bird. It can be up to two meters across and over a meter deep. Bald eagles are not actually bald. The name is derived from an older word, older meaning of the word white-headed pied. The adult is mainly dark brown with a white head and tail. The sexes are ident identical in plumage, but the females are about 25% larger than the males. The yellow beak is large and hooked, and the yellow legs and feet have fierce hooked talons. The plumage of the immature birds is in different shades of brown, which in my opinion is equally beautiful. Cream and gold and chocolate colours, just magnificent. Nests are used mainly as feeding platforms until February when mating starts to take place. Watch this pair. mating, the male starts to collect grass for the nest while the female flies off to sit on the bay. Now look where the nest is. I had heard that there used to be a forest of trees here, but now it's all cleared and so the eagles are using the cell phone tower.
In mid to late February, the eggs start to be laid, and both adults take turns incubating the eggs for approximately 35 days. The female does most of the sitting, but the male brings food and takes his turn and stays to protect his mate and the territory from intruders. My love for bald eagles was inspired by Christian Sassy, from whom I've learnt so much. He is the best eagle photographer in the world, in my opinion, and has a channel devoted to bald eagles. I'll put a link in my description. Christian is also a good friend and a patron of my work. Thank you for your support, Christian. It means the world to me. This nest I formed yesterday near the Fraser. See how high she is sitting. Her chest is visible, not just her eyes and the top of her head. This makes me think so that, that her chicks may have just hatched. I often don't see them until they're big enough to hold their heads up above the edge of the nest. Now this is my favourite nest to watch. I call it Tall Trees Nest. I adore this eagle and I think she adores me too despite her fierce expression. Keep watching. I'll show you her two chicks from last year at towards the end of my video. Now this video is why I decided on ball, doing bald eagles this week for my Friday facts. Last Sunday I had my first ever sighting of the season's baby bald eagles. The male brought a big silver fish to the nest. Then the female quickly arrives to take over and watch. Look at that little baby. My first baby bald eagle of the season. Isn't it just beautiful? Now see how carefully and gently that the female bald eagle feeds the chick. It's just incredible to watch. So this is the stage we are at now in the middle of April. The, the babies are starting to hatch and we're getting the first glimpse of chicks from the ground observations.
Now I'm going to go back to my files to show you some footage from previous year's eaglets. Look at these big babies. One thing that amazes me about is how fast they grow. These big eaglets, called juveniles, are maybe only two to three months old and their flight feathers are just coming through. The young juveniles get big really fast. These ones are formed in summer at, and they're only about three to four months old and they flap their wings and are fed by both the adults. They haven't left the nest yet. And the rate of growth is just incredible. A young eaglet can gain up to 170 grams a day, the fastest growth rate of any North American bird. They sometimes take short flights to nearby branches and back again to the nest. This is called branching. Just look at those wings. They know they get fed at the nest and the adults will feed them for a few more months. Now to end of my video and back at my favourite tall tree's nest. Just look at this pair of juvenile bald eagles. It is July 2020, in the middle of the pandemic year. I cannot tell you how much hope and joy I felt seeing these beautiful babies. They are maybe, now maybe about five months old, but, but they're not in the nest, but they perch nearby and stay, hoping the adult will come and feed them, which she does. In another few weeks, they'll be flying and learning to catch their own prey. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll be doing quite a few more on bald eagles as they're so interesting. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Be kind. Please respect wildlife and always try to put nature first.